Hello everyone, I'm Bogdan. Let's have a quick look at what's new inside InstaDoodle today. We'll learn about the new custom backgrounds feature in InstaDoodle, which includes blackboards, green boards, math paper, and more. Let's open one of the projects we've been working on. Now, the first slide doesn't really need a background, but the second one does. Now you can easily add a background by navigating to the Layers tab where you will notice the new background option below all of the layers in the slide. If you click the small arrow, you'll see all available backgrounds with more to be added in the future. In this case, I'll go ahead and select the Blackboard background. If we turn on the Apply to all slides option, it will apply this background to all existing slides as well as any of the new ones that we create. Now, if we look at the canvas, we notice that some elements are barely visible. They remain black, and one of them has a white fill. We call this a mask. To disable this mask, go to the right side menu and under Advanced Properties, use the Disable Mask option. Once the white fill is gone, I'll change the outline color to white so it's more visible in our scene. To do that, just navigate to the Properties panel on the right side Make sure you have the element in question selected and change the line color to white. Now, let's change the color of all the other elements. Keep in mind that this blackboard background that we've used is one of many other backgrounds available in InstaDoodle, with many more coming in the future. We can also set up a custom solid color by selecting the custom option and adjusting the color slider to whichever color we prefer. Once we selected the exact color, just use the Use Color button to select it. So there you have it, backgrounds made easy to apply to any of your projects and slides. But that's not all. Along with this update, we've added two new hands that are holding chalk instead of a marker, which should match up perfectly with our Blackboard project. To use them, head over to the Project tab in the right panel and expand the Hands category. I think I'll go with this one for my project. So, are you ready to test it out? Let's know why this fits in your creative flow. And thank you very much for watching. Until next time.